What up, y'all? Welcome back to another Corset Cube Draft. This has been pretty pretty alright. At the beginning of each player's draw step, they draw an extra card. Each player will land. That's too symmetrical for me. What does Fungal Rebirth to do? Return a permanent from your graveyard to your hand. If a creature died, create two one ones. It's actually not terrible for three. It is a permanent instead of any card, so it is a little more restrictive than regrowth. But it's also an instant. Most of the time, you're going to want permanents anyway. And uh, two one ones is not terrible. I kind of want to try Fungal Rebirth here. Huh. Or we can take Gilded Lotus and maybe this tables. I kind of like Gilded Lotus. Gilded Lotus keeps us open. And then it lets you play things like Chromium. That's just, that's pretty sweet. I also don't hate Baron. Teferi's tutelage, we can mill them again. This card actually was very good and I was really surprised it didn't see more play. Like, giving plus one, plus one, and also whenever it attacks, you can search for basic land and put it on the battlefield. Like, every turn, all the creature has to do is attack. It doesn't have to connect. Like, that's pretty wild. We were just black-blue, so I'm kind of reluctant, but... It's also very good. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take Chromium. It's just a... <laughs> Omniscience. Interesting. This is ten mana... There's got to be something you can do with it, though, right? I guess we were blue, black, red, green. I guess that's a good point, Mitch. I have no idea if Elemental Tribal's a thing. I kind of just want to take Omniscience. I have no idea what this could lead to. I'm going to take it. This is going to be a fun one, boys. I like Rewind. I also like Cultivate if we're trying to Omniscience. Cultivate into Gilded Lotus seems really good. Let's Cultivate. Hmm. Sphinx of Athune seems really good, especially if we're playing Omniscience. Okay, okay. <laughs> Inspector Gadget. I like the way this looks for sure. Whether it's going to work, that's the question. stop again. That's interesting. I also like Nissa here. I think time stop is really strong. I wish it had split second, but yeah. I want to take time stop again. <laughs> Omniscience would be the closest to Storm. That's true, actually. That is a fair point. Stormtide Leviathan, like we're all, we're all banking on Omniscience here, right? I don't think it's Troll Aesthetic. I guess they're just taking Leviathan. Hmm. Sky Diamond? Now you're speaking my language.
Rites of Flourishing. I feel like that's correct. Fungal Rebirth could also be correct here. I'm going to take the rights. This deck turned out completely different than we expected right now. Sword isn't is interesting and also a card I was already talking about here. Send it off, I'll choose a creature type. They get eh, no. Open. No. We'll just take Temple just in case. Mucho in the sky with the diamonds. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Omniscience into Wildfire seems interesting. Guys, I don't know if this is going to work. We're really banking heavily on wildfire. Mm, sigil sword, sure. No, these are great. Primeval Titan. Yeah, well, Inferno Titan's in here, so I have to assume Primeval Titan is as well. Look at this deck right now. Omniscience, Storm Tile Leviathan, Sphinx of Uthun. This is actually a card I was hoping that would come back because it's pretty good. Plow Under. Seething Song. I don't think we want to be red. I just don't think we have it in us right now. We do have Wildfire in the sideboard, but I think I'd rather just have the Plow Under, to be honest. That keeps us alive. Yeah, we're going to be plowing under. Wood Elves is going to ramp us. God, there's a destructive force. Twin cast. <laughs> oh my god. Kerbal likes the weirdest shades like Stifle. Quicken, twin cast. You got any of these terrible weirdos? Gift of Paradise seems good. I'm reluctant to do Rupture Spot, Rupture Spot, because you have to play it on two. You have to, like, you can't play it on one. You gotta play it on two. And in that situation, it's, like, much... It's actually worse than, like... Never gonna be able to activate this. I'm gonna think Gift here. I think Gift is exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, I think Acidic Slime is fine. Like, we're safe scenario, we're like a green ramp deck, right? We're like green blue ramp, and then we're like splashing for things that we can put into play easily. With a side of like mana denial. Untap all permanents you control. It doesn't really do much for me. Okay, Flood of Tears is actually amazing because it's another way to put Omniscience into play. Or like Stormtide or Chromium or any of these cards. Um, I actually think Flood of Tears is great here. And unlike the other deck, we don't need tokens. We have a bunch of, like, permanents. <sighs> Chromium's a dragon. We can draw a card off a Dragon's Horde. All of our lands are red-white, which is funny because we're mostly... Blue-green. What up, Jundasaur? That being the case, I'm just going to take Dragon's Horde because it's a ramp spell. Oh, Primeval Bounty is bananas. I don't know if it's good for us. I like Sift a little better, though. Sift, if we get Omniscience into play, is just a way to keep the train rolling. Plus, it says draw three on it, so... Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Now you got Lucy in the sky with diamonds stuck in my head. Charcoal Diamond? I mean, it's still a two-mana mana rock. 
And it's better than everything else in this pack, so. And this is black anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, I also like the Sift art. I think it's good. Diamonds are kind of a weird addition. Uh, but I mean, like, they're available in core sets, right? So, like, that's the... That's the thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Satchel. I think Satchel's fine. <laughs> Twin cast! Oh, Kermit, I love you, buddy. Gather the pack. I want to take destructive force here. Dude, Time for Some Pain, I actually love Druidic Satchel. It was, it was one of my favorite cards as well, just because it felt so versatile. Like, for two mana every turn, you get, like, a cool ability, whether you gain two life, put a land into play, or get a 1-1. One, one. Like, it was just such a cool rep repetitive effect for two mana. And it kind of had, like, a Planeswalker feel to it, almost. Hmm... You only spend it for dragons, right? Interesting. I guess it's... I think it's Rupture Spire here. Scoured Barons is fine, but, like, the problem is we need a white and a black for this guy. And if we have the white, the black is useless. I... I'll take... Actually, Artif Artif Artificer's Epiphany is, is actually just fine. It draws his cards. Starfield of Nyx. Starfield of Nyx can put Omniscience from our graveyard to the battlefield? That also seems good. We're definitely Bant here. And Soren's Vengeance is also one of my favorite cards. I think Soren's Vengeance is friggin' sweet, man. Okay, this is our third pack. Love for a War Visionary here. I also like Frost Titan a lot, but I think Visionary is more where we want to be. Rex Sage. Patient Rebuilding is also a very strong card. I like Felwar Stone, actually. Felwar Stone seems great. So does Reign of Revelation. We're trying to ramp into friggin' Omniscience here, though, so...
I wonder if there are four more different demons in this cube. I'm gonna take Thalwar Stone. When it enters the battlefield, you may change the target of a spell or ability to this guy. Okay. All right. Cool, dude. Could just be Mitotic Slime. Mitotic Slime blocks really well. Makes a bunch of other dudes. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not excited about it, but that pack was not super exciting, so. Overgrowth. Whenever land is tapped for mana, it adds two. So interesting thing about Gift of Paradise, when you tap it, it adds two mana of any one color. So that that adds two mana. Overgrowth, however, adds three. Which is really interesting and pretty good. I don't know if it's better than Confiscate. It might be, though. I don't know if the permanents in this format are actually good enough to confiscate. Is that weird? I like Sun Titan a lot. Gets back a lot of things. I mean, confiscate is removal. I gotta take confiscate. I, I think it's probably correct. So right now, ways that we have to get uh, Omniscience into play, we can Sift and then Starfield of Nyx to get it back. Or we can also Flood of Tears and put it into play. Or we can just cast it. Lucy in the sky with the diamonds. Archaeomancer actually doesn't seem bad. Get back Time Stop. We can get back Sift. Plow Under. Pacifism does seem fine, actually. You guys are all like, take the removal. Uh, I actually kind of like Tefri here. Like, Tefri is actually pretty good because it lets us discard. And it lets us find the other one. Oh, what up, brown dog? Ooh, Zeus a lost but seeking. I don't know how good that is. But nothing else is really exciting. Oh, another open the vaults is actually interesting. Again, we have omniscience to discard. And we can throw a confiscate. I'm gonna take open the vaults. Okay, Nexus of Fate seems amazing. Yep, we're definitely taking Nexus of Fate again. Wow. Oh boy. Take Captain of the Watch out. Probably take Satchel out. It just seems a little mana intensive for us. Evacuation actually seems fine. Or Jor-Jor-Real. Ah, that's whatever. This does look spicy. I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> P 
Patient rebuilding is a win con. That card is just great. I definitely don't think Plow Under is only good when you're when you're pressuring. Forcing them to draw two two of the same lands in a row, or and then like also setting them back two lands is pretty insane. Take Disciple. Oh, Thornwood Falls is actually really nice this late. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Equilibrium is interesting. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay one if you do return a creature to the nurse hand. That's kind of like... <laughs> with Acidic Slime and like Llanowar Visionary, that's kind of a... Pretty strong loop. How many enchantments do we have that we can just toss in the graveyard? Even if it's only those two, it's still pretty good. <laughs> Gift of Paradise, Rites of Flourishing, Pacifism. Oh, all, all of these cards actually come back. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is an 18 land deck for sure, but that means we need two cuts. And I actually don't know what the hell they'd be. Yeah, Patient Rebuilding is also very, very good. We could take Stormtide Leviathan out, maybe? But what's our win con? Like, we have to actually win the game. So as far as enchantments go, if we get everything out with Starfield, we have... Seven enchantments? I can see taking out Acidic Slime. Or or we take out the Plow Under. I think this deck looks really sweet. Alright, we're going to bring these three lands in. I have no idea if this deck is any good. Absolutely no idea. So we have... Definitely want like four of these. Also, Guild of Lotus helps us cast a bunch of stuff. Eight of these is nine, ten, eleven. No, we can definitely cut two of those. Three, four, five, six... So this is 5, 6, 7, 8 with Sky Diamond. 4, 5. Which is fine because we also have Gilded Lotus. Um, I don't love Evacuation just yet. I also don't think this format's super aggressive, but we'll see. And then 4, 5, 6, 7 we want because we want green early. Oh, we get another land. And another one of those... And probably also another white source. Just play 41 with 18 lands. I like it. Snap keep. <laughs> All right. Into rupture spire, into gift. Oh, what up, beers? Oh. 
Oh, that's fine. Ooh, Rites of Flourishing is interesting. My internet trolled me. I missed the draft. Oh, man, what a bummer. This is a work of art. You scum bucket. Oh, that's dirty. Kind of tempted to play rights here. Also, Tefri is good. I think we're going to ri risk it for the biscuit and play rights here. We get two lands in play. Ugh, they get to first activate, which is the worst. It's the worst. But... <laughs> it's all downhill from here. That's why you hate it. That's fascinating. Is it overrun? No. Primeval Titan? That'd be baller. Is there power in this cube? No, there's no power in the Corset cube. The Walls Dragon? I don't even know what that is. I have no idea what this is. Target land becomes a 4-4. Okay, untap 4 forests. Okay. Is this one like the... Oh, this is Nissa Worldbreaker. Oh, okay. I just didn't recognize that art. Okay. That's very good. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five... So we have eight mana, huh? Okay. Five, six, seven... Good Starfield to get back Gift of Paradise. The Nissa's pretty problematic. We'd also just keep up Chromium. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is not ideal. Blue, black. I'll eat your little land. Go to five life. I'm likely dead. That's a three mana and one one. So we can take three and you gotta block this guy, this guy, and this guy. Oh boy. It's not ideal. I did a meme. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh boy. Uh, until the end turn, because the wiki man can't be blocked. Okie dokie. We're going to keep the island in case we need to discard it. I don't know what we can do here.
So we take one, two, three, four, five. It's exact, right? If we get rid of this guy. So close yet so far. <laughs> Don't really want to show that. Wow, we, of course, in round one, we play the deck with has Rex Sage and Acidic Slime, and they draw both of them. Seems good. This guy probably, they probably have no answer to this guy. This guy's probably also pretty good, too. Let's take that out. Uh, they have a 2-1, a 1-1, one, one, and an Acidic Slime, which is a 2-2. Two, two. That's still 5 damage. I mean, Jarl's fine with Teferi. I'm just like... It's it's a two-card combo, though. Like, otherwise we're not... I mean, like, Rites of Flourishing, I guess it's fine, but... I don't think we care about Acidic Slime here. I'm gonna take out Rites. I think it's probably a little greedy. And by greedy, I mean I don't like the fact that... You know, they get to do the things. I will play first. You know what? I'll keep this hand. We're obviously going to top deck a sweet three drop, like a uh, Cultivate or a Llanowar <clears throat> Visionary. That's, that's also what I was thinking. I open the vaults. The other six mana double white card. Seems good. Seems good. That's a combo. Well, that's a big card I'm never going to actually use. That's unfortunate. That's a lot of mana. Hmm. I mean, we have Cultivate, Land War Visionary... Uh, gift three two mana rocks which is six cards that actually accelerate our mana I mean we probably have more mana rocks than they have planeswalkers and I have to like they drew both their planeswalkers so what can you do <laughs> sure <laughs> I fucking get a hornet queen I'm out man <laughs> you got a garrick and I know sure man you got it you fucking got it. I'll keep it. We got Sift. What can go wrong, guys? Like, discarding this to try to hit Starfield or uh, open the vault seems good. Plus, by that point, we'll have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 19 mana. <clears throat> they also mold to 5. So, yeah. Pretty good. Sphinx, I'll bottom you because we're looking for specific things right now. 
Mm. Two mana, two mana. Give me that rock. Give me that rock. They didn't give me that rock. Don't counter my thing, they didn't. Let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. I actually think I'm gonna keep it. I think we're gonna just try to cast it. <clears throat> which gives us a better shot at uh Yeah, you got a PP and Kiki. Oh, maybe we just... Oh, I can't even play that yet. Dang it. So what is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next turn, we just get to play Omniscience if they don't have a way to deal with our Guild of Lotus or a Counterspell. That seems good. Oh, man. Don't kill my Lotus. Don't kill my Lotus. Oh, just drawing... Oh, you're just drawing three? Oh, God. Oh boy. Is this what living the dream feels like? Cast with omniscience. Oof. Discard a card. Planes. Cast with omniscience. <clears throat> How much do I like spicy food on a scale of 1 to 10? I like spicy food at a, a full 10, I would say. Uh, that being said, I don't necessarily like spicy food being at 10, if that makes sense. Eh, there's a rock card. And discard this. Like, they have to sacrifice both Thopters to hit, to hit Teferi, so that's fine. Oh, or that. But, like, now we get to patient rebuilding here and draw, like, a million? Theoretically. Unless we hit, like... Sure. They're gonna bounce around P and Karen Alar? No, they're not even able to do that because it's... I imagine because it's a Corset card, it hits opponents. Time stop seems pretty decent. <laughs> so does Chromium. Alright. Well, these are both instants. <laughs> so... That's cool. Oh boy. We're living the dream here, my dudes. That's going to be the end, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that was... That was a plan. <clears throat> I feel like this is a good card. I don't know, man. I feel like it just belongs in the deck. Like I said, like, all the cards we've seen so far, like, I don't feel like this is a Confiscate format. I feel like they're not, like, playing, like, one big thing. They're playing, like, a bunch of little things or a bunch of things. Like, one young Pyromancer or one three-man Planeswalker. And it's just not a, a format where, like, I feel like I care about confiscating their things. This seems just fine. We need a white, but that's okay. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, like when they play Cornet Queen and we have Confiscate in hand, it's just like, all right, well, that's not great. Hey, we found the white mana. Jace, Jace Friend's Prodigy is pretty good. It's a 13 million Scoville if you complete it. I'd pay you five about $500. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I definitely consider it for sure. Oh, they just pillaged my land. That's cool. What a cool dude. I will definitely keep that on top. That'll be our next turn play. Oh, you're talking about the old death nuts, huh? Yeah, we were definitely uh, we were definitely afraid of those. Oh, look, they can get pillage back and kill my land again, huh? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Which I have to assume they would do, huh? Well, I'm just gonna pass here. If they want to kill a land again, that's fine. Yeah, KM Lynn, if you want to email me, uh, you can send me an email at frank at franklapore.com and uh, we can definitely chat about it. Because that's obviously a sweet offer, but uh, it's totally up to you. Yep, seems good. Let's draw a forest so we can just play Gift of Paradise like a normal, like a normal magic player. Okay. Well, they're not really doing much, so that's good for us, I guess. Here comes Inferno Titan. I guess we have Pacifism. <clears throat> that is correct, yes. I usually actually tend to avoid hot challenges because they, they do make me uncomfortable. And, like, the physical discomfort is usually not worth it, but... I mean, I could definitely consider it, for sure. So, Oh, good, a green. Sure. You got it. <clears throat> that doesn't do anything. So next turn I just get to draw that. And... Play Gilded Lotus into that. Shh. Seems fine. Oof. That's nice. And it gets exiled so you can't even bring it back? <clears throat> Alright. Well, this is all fine. I will take two. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All yours, my dude. Tormenting Voice and Mindspring are fine in the graveyard. Uh, they could draw three off of Spring. Four if they play a card. Or a land, rather. Molten Birth. Let's see if you win the flip. I'll take two. You got it. Did they win the flip? They did win the flip. Good for them. And they're going to get back Tormenting Voice. You got it. <clears throat> I 100% did not have the balls required to eat that. Alright, so what? 5, 6, 9, 10, 11? Sure, we'll go to 7. Hmm. <laughs> As if as I'm on this guy. Oh, I guess we're adding white, huh? Hey, I guess we'll add a white, huh? So they only have six damage on board. Oh, okay. Well. That is fine. Like, they're kind of incentivized to play something. I guess they could just play, like, Molten Birth after combat. 
<clears throat> the big question for me is whether I time stop during their draw step or do I time stop when they play a card. I guess either way you're getting a card out of it, right? But they can always respond if it's an instant in a deck like this. <laughs> Gotta be something good. That's not gonna do it. Alright, let's go to the next game. Man, 41 cards, right? Yeah, that's not bad. 18 lands. Lots of things to do. <clears throat> I kind of like Captain of the Watch here. All right. <clears throat> what does my Totic Slime do? It's a 4-4. Four, four. When it dies, you make two 2-2s. Two, two, and when those 2-2s two, die, you make two... They each make two 1-1s. One, one. This is an interesting hand. We got the 5-6-7 here. <clears throat> We're 21. Basically can't even lose. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we have so many early cards, like Lanoir Visionary, Gift of Paradise... Three, three of the diamonds. Like I, I feel like it's very weird that we're not cultivate. We haven't drawn once. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> I feel like it's very weird we're not drawing any of our two or three drops here. So they basically have the same exact start. They just get to play Jace into Pillage and then Pillage just a second time. I don't even think I like Rites of Flourishing. Giving them two cards is so much worse than giving us two cards. I mean, this time we didn't draw 60 mana, unfortunately. Yep. My relationship with Pepper starts and ends with ground pepper. <laughs> it's, it's a little poor little of my... Experimental overload. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. If we hit a land off this guy, I'm going to feel real good about my life choices. <laughs> Seven drop. We have now drawn... <laughs> Oh, more cards that cost five or more than we have than we have lands. Sure, amazing. Yep, and then you get to loot, and then next turn you get to kill another land. So that's good. That's nice. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this deck is actually fine so long as we can hit our lands, and uh, <clears throat> meh. Uh, seven drop, seven drop, six drop, six drop, five drop, five drop. Seems good. Yep, I guess. Cool, man. Super, super cool. Super strategic plays. I guess no land? Oh, it was a land. Did you see it? <clears throat> yep, we are playing 18 lands. That is correct. Not that it matters. <laughs> Fellow R Stone. <laughs> Oh, good times. Well, we're not dead. <clears throat> so that's that's the thing, right? It is a blue source. Keenan, sounds good, man. Thank you so much for the email. Really appreciate it. I will check it out. Uh 
Okie dokie. I'm pretty sure we're dead here, unfortunately. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, God. This is just the worst, man. I, I don't know. I, don't, I guess I don't understand. What turn is it? Turn 8, and we've hit 5 lands out of 18. And, uh, you know, what can you do? We're not necessarily dead, but if they play a draw spell, we're dead. So they can actually just go Mind Spring for 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, we're actually dead. Yep, cool. <clears throat> Sounds good. I mean, these have been some really uh, skillful, skillful, skill, skill intensive matchups here, where I, I feel like I've lost uh, <laughs> due to my own mistakes and, and not not due in any way to a, a poor distribution of lands and spells. But I mean, I'd love to be like, well, we just don't have enough early plays in our deck. But, you know, we kind of do. We kind of have nine, which is 25% of the deck. So, I don't know. I will take out rights because I don't I don't think I like it. I am going to add in Captain of the Watch. That's Dallas. <laughs> oh, Lord. <clears throat> yeah, like, I, I don't know why I couldn't hit any of these eight last game, but... Confiscate is bad. Jazz, that jazz is stupid. Just play the right notes. Yeah, all right. I agree. Confiscate's not great here. I, I feel like this deck is worthy of a one-two. Maybe that's maybe I'm being ambitious. Thank you. Do you guys remember the Babalu gums? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Once upon a time, some 20 years ago, I took an olive oil. I took olive oil that was in a pickle jar filled with peppers and injected it inside the gums with a syringe. Then went to see my friends with a pocket full of those and a pocket full of non-trolled gums. My friends kept asking for a gum. I that's disgusting, Mark. Can you what was the response? <laughs> Dude, you're a, that was a, wow, you are a, you are a malicious child, man. Oh, God, like, look at this. One land, I think we're actually, I'm going to keep this. We have 18 lands. One land, we can start playing these. I feel, I feel like it's okay. What are the odds that they're going to pillage us? Very low. I think we have two turns. If one of the, one of the top two, 17 lands in the deck, it's 50%. I, you know what? I'll take it. You're going on the bottom, though. You're a big, fat idiot. No offense to you. If we hit another land, actually, we can go Felwar into Charcoal Diamond, which puts us in the money, dude. In the money. In the money. In the mayonnaise. They're just puking and crying, and I was laughing. And never again were they bold enough to put a hand on my can. Don't you ever touch my candies again? <laughs> Jesus. All right, that one's good. That one's good. Does Flood of Tears do anything that we care about? Not really. It's got to be better than pacifism, though, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Thankfully, Blue-Black doesn't have a ton of ways to deal with, like, artifacts and enchantments. Oh, definitely plusing that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the ticket. So long, Teferi, master of time. More like master of nothing. Dang it. Blue, one, two. Patient rebuilding. Boo -doo -doo -doo. 
We can play around Mana Lake. Yep, that's good. All right. I guess we just play the land here. As they wrenched in pain, I whispered with a curved smile, Never touch my candies again. <laughs> good childhood fun. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are wild. Once we hit one patient or building, I pop out the graveyards. Oh, open the vaults. I never cared much for moonlit skies. In case... Let's play this, this old gentleman. They have seven cards in hand. That's a lot. You can counter this guy? Hmm, fascinating. <clears throat> well, that is your prerogative, good sir. That is your prerogative. You got it. Are they going to mill themselves? When you're a child, you need to defend your candies. Yeah, that's... I think that's the first rule of being a child. Make sure you defend your candies at all costs. I think patient rebuilding is extremely strong. The potential to draw up to three extra cards a turn while also milling them in a limited format is really good. Oh, I like a time stop. Time stop. In the middle of the street. Time stop. One, two, three, four, five. We don't have acidic slime mana. Or we don't have time stop mana after this. I think it's still important to get rid of the arena though, right? Or we can get rid of Pithing Needle. Let's get rid of the arena. That's kind of more of a... We have three six drops in hand. That's a lot. Okay, they had their own patient rebuilding. That's pretty funny. Yikes. Oh, Crypt Rats is interesting. I don't know if it does anything per se, but... Mill three more. Oh. Oh. Oh, Chromium's a dude, alright. That's a win condition of the old days. We got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm really surprised we've drawn five lands total in 20 cards. That means there's still 13 lands in the next 22 cards. For five, huh? I don't like that. <laughs> That's just way too much value. Let's end the turn. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, do we have anything else that destroys artifacts or enchantments? No. I kind of want Confiscate here over Stormtide because they, they don't have... They have a lot of... Um, They probably have some creature removal, and with us having very few creatures, this probably isn't that great. But Confiscate can take, like, a Planeswalker, which we saw, or, like, the Phyrexian Arena. And this is this is a specific deck where Confiscate's fine, because they're not putting a ton of things on board.
Hold on one second. Yeah, we'll keep this in for sure. Chromium in the sky with diamonds. I mean, there's also plenty of lands to discard for Jay Serino. Let's play this guy. Urborg? Oh, wow, I didn't know Urborg was even in this cube. Are you going to counter this? Oh, no, okay. That's fine. This was the gum of the story I told. They had a flavor cream in the middle. I replaced it with pepper. Oh, God. I have never heard of this gum. These look like little macaroons. I used to... There was a candy called Bonkers when I was a kid. And they were like squares. They were cubes. And on the inside, there was like a different flavor. So they had like two flavors. And the funny thing is, they look like modern high chews. Oh, Sphinx's tutelage is interesting, because we have acidic slime. So that's okay. We can also steal it? Oh, boy. Can you imagine? One, two, three. I guess we don't have... Um, second green, sure. That seems good. <clears throat> Mill me for two. Flood and Captain, two six drops. Interesting. Fascinating. They still make bonkers? What? I've never seen a bonkers in years. Oh man. Just mono enchantments up in here. Sky diamond? That seems... Seems just worse than a planes at this point. We're looking for a second green. Okay, you're not it. Oh, not that. One, two, three, four. Let's go Wood Elves. Get a land. One, two, three. Gift. Here. So they get to mill us for four here, presumably. Next is a fate shuffled back in, so they mill us for one. Two, three. Sure. Also, trying to mill us when we have next is a fate is pretty hilarious, right? I'm looking at bonkers candy right now. Bonkers were originally named by, made by Nabisco and then were discontinued. Yeah, this is what this is them. This is what they look like. <laughs> they look worse than I remember them here, but still. Um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Pithing needle. Yeah, let's draw a card. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just going to keep chromium here. <laughs> that's an easy... That's a bingo. Okay. So this... What is... Uh, artifacts and enchantments cost two more. That's actually great against us. Fascinatingly enough. Oh my god. I can buy a display? Oh, those are tartan tinies. I don't know if bonkers are still... Can I... Wait, what? I'm really confused. Uh, 
Well, Teferi had a good run. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually cast Chromium next turn. Or we can cast Acidic Slime now, get rid of like Tutelage, maybe? If we get rid of Pithing Needle, do they even have another way to stop Teferi? I don't know. Oh, that was stupid. I want to put it on the bottom because it's going to get milled anyway. I guess... I don't know if I want to play Chromium here. Seven. I think we just Acidic Slime the Sphinx's tutelage. green and black or do we not care about the tutelage that's the other question I'm going to get rid of arena I don't care about your tutelage because I have Nexus of Fate. Like, I, I'm pretty confident that Nexus of Fate's going to be hard to deal with. And we just get infinite turns if we hit it. <sighs> That's a little rough. Yep. Chromium and Confiscate. Pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to play this in case they decide to kill the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It doesn't matter. Oh, next to the fate again. Oh, when the vault is gone, that's pretty rough. happening right now <laughs> okay uh, let's go double green In order to point cast her second spell each turn, draw a card. Um, that's fine. Don't really need to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There are three lands in our deck. So we could cultivate next turn, get two of them. I mean, the more they mill us, the more the closer we're getting to the next to the fate, right? Hmm. Okie dokie. Well, there is next to the fate. That's the only one they can get, so that's fine. But then it gets shuffled back in anyway, right? Yep, so next to fate shuffled back in. Oh, we also have three cards in our library. One of them is a nexus of fate. Sure. Okay, we have one card, and it's Nexus of Fate. <laughs> oh, God. How do we win, though? I don't know. I guess they have to put another dude on the board, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
draw next to fate. You're gonna counter it. Just finished your last Vintage Cube draft on YouTube. Pack 2 is absolutely... You got it. Pack 2 is absolutely mental. The people you passed to... Yeah, they're like, uh, I don't understand what's happening right now. So, attack for 2. I don't want you drawing any extra cards. Uh, Teferi is locked down by Pithing Needle. <laughs> Should have actually kept Slime back to block the Mangara. But the funny thing is, like, they're going to deck before we do. They have one card in hand. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. John Dorian, swinging by to bring some of that YouTube money. I always enjoy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, my dude. Are they going to try to make us draw a card here? That has to be their plan, right? Like, we have to... They have to have a card that says target player draws cards. My draw step. Third pick Mox Emerald was pretty wild, yeah. Five. Sublime Epiphany. Return this guy to hand. Oh, they just... Oh, they did the wrong one. Oh, they're just dead then. Because every draw phase we can play Nexus of Fate. They have no cards in hand. Sure. We should have attacked with only one last turn. Yeah, that was that was our, that was a mistake. We gave them one more card, and if it costs two, then then they get. Okay, so now we're just attacking with one forever. Are they gonna make me do this? It's kind of weird, right? Even if they counter this, it goes back in the deck and we draw it. Okie dokie. But if they don't have a way to stop this, like, what's the point? Why, why are you making me go through this? <laughs> oh, boy. Did they have it? I don't think they had it. How did they have it? Okay, there we go. There we go. Next to Fate's a really good card in this cube, especially because there's, like, multiple mill strategies. 
But thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, Omniscience did not. Omniscience, we cast it once. It was fun. But uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support, guys. Check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow or subscribe on, on Twitch as well if you guys are watching on YouTube. It's a really great way to support the channel. And uh, it's a great help. It's also the holidays. So be sure to support your favorite streamer. Because this is their source of income. So if you guys are watching and hanging out, help them out. I'll see you next time.